My name is Glenn Sabern from Rochester, Minnesota. This is my 2017 Civic Hatchback LX. We're up here this weekend at Brainerd International Raceway for MA Performance Proving Grounds 2021, Friday Autocross yesterday. And we're doing Triple Track Showdown today and tomorrow, which is three passes on the drag strip, six autocross passes roughly, and then maybe two sessions on the road course in the morning and then standing start shootout tomorrow afternoon. Pretty basic as far as bolt-ons. I do have the MAP catted downpipe, the MAP intercooler kit, and MAP radiator hoses on top of a Koyo radiator. Other than that, it's K-Tuner V1 with a TSP Stage 1 tune. Suspension-wise, also pretty basic. Set of Eibach Sport Lines, stock struts. Does have a white line rear sway bar, white line roll center kit. Hyundai Genesis Brembo upgrade, 18 nine and a half Koenig Freeforms with 25535 Falcon RT660s. Grips pretty good. It goes, it needs more work to be more competitive, but as of right now, it's a blast to drive. The car's pretty basic on the outside. It's got an APR GTC 250. I did opt to go track spec vented hood and aero catch latches just to spice it up a little bit, help ventilate some heat on the road course. So I originally got this car because I owned a 2005.5, so B7 Audi S4, full carbon package, six speed car, absolutely gorgeous. And about 125,000 miles on it, the car decided it wanted to start with the, the timing chain rattle. So I immediately just said, I'm gonna go trade it in. And unfortunately, the reason I bought an LX hatchback, it was the only manual on the lot and I just took it thinking it was gonna be just a daily driver. I'd say not even a season later, after about two or three autocrosses, I decided it's a competitive car, so I kept going with it, so. <laughs> Ultimate goal with it is just to have fun. I try to get in as much seat time as possible, not enough in most cases. I drive it every single day to and from work, wherever I wanna go. I drove it almost four hours, you know, from Southern Minnesota up to here just to track it this weekend. So for right now, it's build it the way I wanna build it, have fun with it, get seat time, and uh, go from there. I wanted an R when they came out. <laughs> At the time, I mean, even 35 grand, I paid 20 for this after driving a couple hours. They're awesome. Yes, the engine, the drivetrain, everything's better. It doesn't justify the extra cost for me. When I can start with this, do exactly what I want to do to it, and a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're trying to make it a Type R. Why don't you just buy a Type R? Well, I like to do it my own way. But it's my car. I have fun, and I made it competitive. For most of us, we all live across the state from each other, so it's the only time of the year we really get together anymore. That's the biggest reason we do it. Obviously, you come up here to, you know, get on track. You might come up here to win. I come up here to have fun, you know, hang out with my friends, get better, get seat time, push the limits. The best eight days of the summer is PG1, PG2, is all I can say. Instagram is at Cone Killer Racing. It's all car pictures. PG2 last year with Charlie in the car. I needed to pick up, I believe, two or three tenths to win the class. And on the last run, we just killed it. I think I picked up maybe a, maybe a half a second, a little bit more, ended up winning the class by, I wanna say a little over a second overall. That's probably been the most fun so far. Just the, the first win in the car, having it go the way it did. Cause I felt like it was slower, but it ended up being, like I said, about almost a second faster.